Hey guys, it's Gerald G6 here, back with the video. So, for the first time on the channel, and first time ever for me, we are checking out Empire Total War. Empire is about the, the, seven, the 18th century, so 1700s. So around the time when Sweden was a uh, big boy, hey, boys! and uh, had an empire. Oh shit, we're, we're turning about. The first total war game that implemented naval combat. This shit right here, this is what we're looking for, naval combat. First time, so this is around the time where Sweden had an empire and the USA was fighting for independence. Hell yeah. I think this is it, uh, actually. I think that's uh, representing the war for independence. Alright. sick already so like I said guys I have never played Empire before um I played Napoleon which is about the Napoleonic Wars obviously Medieval 2 as we've seen on the channel and then Rome Total War the original and then Rome Remastered so well, I'm liking this music okay shit um but yeah those are the ones I've played so I have some form of experience with this kind of combat with Napoleon. Uh, first, I kind of want to check out. I want to check out three things. One, naval combat. See if it's any different from Napoleon. Okay, I'm really liking this music. Holy shit! Hang on, guys. I am loving that shit. Jesus. That is some really good music. Okay. I'm really liking that. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, so we got the... So it starts in 1700. Uh, we got the French... The, the Kingdom of France at the time. Uh, the Austrian Habsburgs, I'm assuming. Uh... I'm assuming these boys are the, uh, are, yeah, the Habsburgs, the, uh, Alabama of Europe right here. Uh, the United Provinces, which is the Dutch. Spain. Okay, Spain's got her empire started now. The Great Kingdom of Prussia. Hell yeah. I love Prussia. Uh, Poland, Lithuania. Okay, I didn't know Poland Lithuania was still around at this time. I thought that had fallen by uh, the 1600s. Let's see here. Oh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans, right? They're still in here. And they weren't completely incompetent at this time either. They were starting to die out, but they weren't completely incompetent. Oh, the Russian bear. Okay. Uh, Muscovy was the one who united the Russians, right? Oh shit, this is... The Russian bear has a way in. Alright, and then... Sweden, this is when Sweden had its, like, penis-looking empire with, uh, Finland and, uh... And Sweden, of course, and then parts of Estonia and Russia. And the Maratha Confederacy. Oh, this is like a... This is like an Indian faction. I wonder if they have Native American factions, seeing as there's, like, a... Seeing as like uh, it's around that time, we'll j we'll jump into this as Prussia because uh, that's where my ancestors came from. Actually, Prussia, Bavaria, and um, I believe it's oh, I forget what it's called, but it's this region of Germany right here where my cursor is. So we're gonna check out what uh, what the campaign map looks like and whatnot. 
Oh, that's some nice fan art, or not fan art, like a concept art. I like that. Serious, it looks like the British and the British and the colon, colon, colonists, yeah. During the revolution. I wonder if it's in the Ohio country. When a man is able to take abuse with a smile, he's worthy to become a leader. Reb Nachman of Bratislav, Nachman from Oman, Ukrainian Jewish teacher and spiritual leader. Fair. That is very fair. If you're able to take he is worthy to become a leader. Maybe not worthy, but it's a good quality. Because you know what? I've been bullied for eight years in school and whatnot, and I am still going on. And I may have had my depression, but I'm doing just fine. So, you know what? Man's got a point. Man does have a point. All right, come on, let's load up. I want to see this shit. Come on. So Empire, like I said, it's about the 1700s, around the time when Sweden was an empire, when the uh, col the colonists were starting to get their revolutionary ideals. Your first priority so, should be uh, to research a superior military drill doctrine at the college in Magdeburg. Yeah, I get it. Once Russia's military tradition, I get it. Uh, let's see your uh, options. Let's turn up the graphics a bit. I want to try that. Come on, are you, are you working? Check. Okay, so it looks like we're not gonna get two nice graphics, guys, because of obviously, uh, I'm on a computer that is, uh, I'm on a laptop, so. This seems to be like, kind of like, I know this is on uh, the engine that's right after uh, Medieval 2. I'm not sure whether, like, uh, it feels kind of like a Medieval 2's engine, but a bit bigger, of course. Alright, the French, the French holding Strasbourg, oh, that's an Alsace, okay. Um, Hanover, controls Hanover, Cologne on the Rhineland, at peace, at peace, uh, Prague, the Aust okay, the Austrians, Here's Konigsberg, the great city. Or Konigsberg, one of the two. My apologies, I'm not good with pronunciations. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, what do you start out with in terms of army size? Let's see here. Let's go to army in here. Let's check it out. Start out with demi cannons, line infantry, and militia in here. So, three, and then I'm assuming. I don't know what this gray unit is. I'm not sure because I'm stupid. And also because I didn't, I've never played this game before, so. And then what's in here? I'm assuming the gray might be like a garrison, kind of like the feature in uh, Divide and Conquer. Um, Alright, here's our general. Uh, cannons, gen. That's a unit from Medieval 2, the Gendarmerie. Except it's, uh, they're called Gendarms and Gendarmes, or something along those lines, and. Medieval 2. Line infantry and... What the hell are pikemen doing in the 17th century? I guess this is right after the pike and shot era, so... But... Oh. What's this? To America? Wait, I wanna go to America? Let me go to America! Hell! Uh... World globe. Let me go to the Americas. Yeah, that's right. So, here's the 13 colonies under... Her mad, her his Majesty. I think it was uh, King Joseph the Second, I believe. I don't remember exactly. I'm sorry. To uh, so my eighth grade uh, social studies teacher, I'm not exactly remember this at the moment. Uh, the, okay, we got the Pueblo Nations. This is, that's probably uh, like a Pueblo. Uh, that is the Pueblo, probably. New Spain got Santa Fe. Uh, what's down here? Let's go to Spain. What's this? To the East Indies. You can go to the East Indies? Huh. Uh. Antigua. Okay. New Spain. New Spain. Uh. New Granada. 
I'm assuming these are all parts of Spanish Empire. Dutch, and then the French. Uh, who controls these? Aw, oh, these are pirates. Alright, uh, so at this point the British already control Jamaica. Uh, Spain controls Hispaniola and Cuba. Uh, the Bahamas are under the British, of course, Florida under the, the Spanish. Here's the Iroquois. Um, you're on, here on Wyandotte, okay, right, that's a Native American, uh, people. Uh, 13 colonies. Cherokee Nations! Hey, that's my ancestors right there. Cherokee Nations, those are my ancestors. Um... Uh, and then the Plains Nation, so I'm assuming that's another Native American faction. Uh, and then there's, uh, directly controlled by, uh, Great Britain. Mm. Uh, Wilderness, Labrador, and then the Inuits? Inuits? Might be like a... I want to go to the East Indies real quick. Can I just press... Okay. I think it's more complicated than that. Can I go to the... I want to go to the East Indies. Oh, that's... A th oh, okay. Okay, so you, like, click on it. It's, like, a smaller location. And there's the streets of Madagascar you can go to, I guess. Huh. Uh, the Ivory Coast. This is where slavery started up. That's a shame. And then in Brazil. Coast of, the southern coast of Brazil right here. And then... Uh... Let's see here. India. We want to see India. So what's going on here? Oh, the Mughals are still here. The Mughals. They're still around. Sweet. Uh, Persia is a thing. And they're looking kind of thick at the moment. Wait a minute. Wait, you're telling me you can just... It, like, the map's extended? Oh, that's the shit. Okay, so the Mughals control most of... Uh, India, there's the Maratha Confederacy, that's one of those main factions. Portugal controls a port here. Uh, what's this? Mazare. I'm assuming that's one of the Tamil Kings or something? And then, of course, there's the, uh, down there was the, uh, I believe it was the, yeah, it was the Dutch. So, you can, I wonder if you can play the Mughal at some point. Okay, so there's no, um, Command console, I'm assuming, because they didn't have it in Napoleon either, so I'm assuming that's just uh, just a thing in the game where they completely removed the command console. That's a shame, because command games can be really fun at times, but oh well. Anyways, so this is actually pretty cool. Of course, I know a lot of people really don't like, um, a lot of people really do not like this game. But this is a completely different experience for me, so I'm... I, I think it looks pretty cool so far, and... I don't know, though. But... I do know a lot of people really do not like this game. Compared to Napoleon. Quit now. Yes, I'm gonna quit now. Yeah, I do know a lot of people really do not like this game. Because I've just, I hear people all the time just like, oh, Empire's one of the shittiest Total Wars all out there, but I've never personally played it, of course, so it's a really interesting and different experience for me. So, like, because like I said, I'm not used to this type of Total War. I play more Medieval 2. I have so many more hours on Medieval 2 than I do on Napoleon. Shit, dude, that music. I, I, I'm loving it. That is the shit. Like, they did really well with this. I'm in, so far I am pretty impressed. The music is, the menu music is really fucking good. I'm not gonna lie, it is really good. It's, uh, for me, I, I, a lot of times I know the small details, like the music and whatnot. Let's play custom land battle real quick, and then we're gonna try out a, a uh, naval battle real quick, because I just want to see how it's, what it's like, so. They have, like, a 
flat lines. Here we go. It's large, late. Okay. Let's hop in with that. Clear. I want to fight his Prussia. Here we are. Okay, it goes in alphabetical order. Good to know. Clear. So I want the general to be, uh... Hussars or Polis? Polish. Death's head and Hussars. Okay, that sounds scary. Uh, Curassiers. Bosniaks. Dragoons. Like Dragoons. Ulan? Ulans? Ulans? What? I I'm so stupid. Uh, more Hussars uh, and General's Bodyguard. Said the guard do corpse. That sounds really fucking cool. And then the lifeguard. We're just gonna have a traditional line battle. I have two cannons. Foot artillery. Okay. That sounded really. Oh, grenadiers. Okay. Do we have fry core? No, we can. I have a single unit of grenadiers. Okay, the music is going to fucking town, Jesus. Uh, I wonder why you can't play a lot of the minor factions. Oh well. Let's just have a small... Rocket troop. Okay, I gotta check that out. Hang on, do we have that? We do have that. I need to check that out. What is that? Maybe it's what, uh, that one thing that was in that one pixelated Apollo video. Maybe. Foot artillery? Horse artillery is better. Let's try that out. I want to try that out. Okay. And then, with the British, we'll just get them a few of, uh... Let's just get them some light infantry. There we go. Alright, start the battle. Alright guys, so we're gonna, I, I just want to see what all this is. It look, it's looking really interesting so far. Oh! Some more really good concept art. This, as a whole, this, I'm really enjoying this experience so far, it's really nice. I've... This is very interesting to say the least, in terms of the game and everything about it. It's. A really unique experience so far. Wow. Hmm. This is a very unique game so far. Alright, come on. Come on, uh... Come on, uh, loading bar. Come on. I don't have all day. I have to mow lawns in a few hours. What, are you waiting for Christmas or for Jesus to come back? Anyways, uh... This is... The radar map allows you an aerial view of the battlefield, what? detailing the position of units. Use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in or out. You can grab the map and move it around by mousing over it, holding the left mouse button All down, this. then moving the mouse okay, around. Okay, shut up. Uh, Alright, so we have these lifeguards. Let's see what they look like. We should probably see what is the highest round. Graphics, medium, everything medium. Okay, now we're gonna. I want to see them as good as possible because I don't normally get to play on really good graphics, so I just kind of want to see this.
do do do. All right. So, like I said, I've played a bit of Napoleon. I've have about a hundred hours on Napoleon, but that's not that's nothing compared to Medieval Two. I played a lot of Gunpowder, though, on Medieval Two, so I have some form of experience with line battles. It, it's I, but I'm not. I'm no expert. That's for sure. You can't call me an expert when I only have a hundred hours. In the because I have 2,000 hours on Medieval 2, so I'm pretty alright at Medieval 2, but... But, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's check them out. Okay, they got some nice-ass mustaches, okay. Your face is looking Chad. Y'all looking like Chads, okay. I'm liking those hats, the, uh, helmets. I'm loving those. The Prussian Lifeguard. That is an interesting unit name. Uh, and then we have horse artillery, uh, six pounds. Right now, baby. Yes, sir. All right, uh, I want my artillery on. So you go here because yes, uh, you go here. No, 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 wait, reform, reform. You go here. And then I want these things, whatever they may be. I want... What are these? What the hell? Okay. I want you guys... To... What's the range of these? Oh my goodness. Bro, Squidward, they can, they can hit the enemy from like half a million miles away. Wow. Okay. And the general's bodyguard is this, uh, is this unit right here. Let's check it out. See what they look like. Guard du Cour. It sounds French, but okay. I like their hats. They got really nice uniforms. Where's the general himself? Oh, okay. You looking like a Chad? Wait, what is that? What's that hat? That's a Chad hat, my guy. You got a Santa Claus hat. That is Chad. The special abilities buttons are found in the bottom right corner of the screen. Yeah, These I know about turn that. on any special formation. Kaiser, Kaiser, can you be please be quiet? Right. Right now, Question, what is your range? Uh Yeah, please get your artillery ready. Whoa! Yo, okay. What is that? Yo, what? What was that? That was freaking freaky, my guy. Alright, uh, can you unlimber? What's all unlimber? Okay. You need to unlimber as well. We need artillery. Are you firing it well? Yeah, you're firing it well. Right. What was that, my guy? Okay, what was that? Right, do the do your thing again. Come on, do it again. I want to see that again. What was that? Bro, they got freaking like 19-inch rockets. Things are bigger than my penis, dude. That is insane. Okay. That is insane. Wow. I am thoroughly impressed. They're like a manga now. Okay, hold your fire. You're inaccurate as hell, oh my god. Everyone, uh, you're in a group now, and if they try turning, it seems as if they're trying to pull some shit. Run! Run like balls! 
Alright, so I'm gonna, yeah, this is the fast forward button. So as long as you guys run like balls and fast forward. Oh, are you kidding me? They have flag holders! That's freaking awesome! They have flag holders, my guy! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cannons, hold your. You fools! Follow your orders! Hold your fire, you fools! What, what are you doing? Come on. Why won't it let me move these guys? Oh, you gotta look around. All right. All right, come on. All right, come on, attach them quickly. The British are coming. Why isn't this, what is this? This is being dumb. Our horses died? Okay. Okay, now it's working. Okay, I'm just stupid, okay. That makes sense now. Okay, okay, what are you doing? Come on. What happened? Huh? Bro, our guys are like half dead. Alright, come on, let's move. And then, you guys fire for now. Attack them. Oh, there go the rockets. Bro, what was that accuracy? That accuracy was bad. Okay, let's see a cab charge. Heavy cavalry are best used to break formations. Use your own light infantry or cavalry against their light troops. Why not heavy cavalry? Come on, face me, cowards. Okay, everyone else, group up. They're being, the British are indeed coming. Run! I'm like leaders, my guy. Yes, sir. Right. Charge, man! Stakes. Normally, oh my god. Oh my god. I did not see those stakes. Following orders! Following orders! Come on, I thought you guys wanted to conquer stuff. Wanna fight me? Fight me. You bastard. Units with white banners are routing. They've broken and are running, and won't follow any more of your orders. If position close by, your general may be able to rally these troops with his special ability. If successful, you'll regain control of them. Okay, what do I have to do to get these Alright, uh... Hit them. 
the bayonet charges and whatnot it was interesting of course 
it wasn't that interesting because it wasn't a big battle against massive, like a massive engagement. It wasn't amazing because, of course, I'm not exactly on the ropes of it yet, you know. Now we're going to check out naval combat to see if it's any different from Napoleon. Because naval combat's always fun. Alright, play battle. See, oh, you can siege people. Okay. Let's do a 1v1 in the Caribbean. Alright. Let's get... That versus. We'll just get a. Uh, let's see here. Flagship. Do they have. Uh, do the British have HMS Victory? Okay, that music is really fucking good. Seriously. Okay, they have HMS Victory. Oh, you can have 10 times the HMS Victory, dude. One. And then. Let's get some second rates. Two first rates. And then for myself, I will have rocket ship. Intriguing. I want my flagship. Do we have any special ships like the American? Like the uh, British? Maybe the Americans as well? Wait, do the, do the Americans have HMS or the USS Constitution? I wonder. Looks like they don't, but... Alright. Three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, we're gonna have seven uh, first rates, heavy first rates. The Netza, the Veneta, the Osta, the Elster, the Geyer, the Freya, and the Coronel. And then the British have... HMS Victory, the Agincourt, the Monmouth, the, S the Sapphire, the Endeavor, the Liberator, and the Neptune. Alright, well I wouldn't say the British are exactly Liberators, uh, I sh uh, but I should ask the Zulu about that one, they would know. Oh, I'm love. Okay, that background is actually really cool. That is really cool. I wonder what battle that's depicting. Could be Nelson's victory at Trafalgar. Cause that, I think that's a um, a royal uh, Spanish flag. It could be depicting that, but I'm not sure. Could be the Russians, actually. When you think about it. <laughs> this opponent sold an army and makes small numbers formidable. Procures success of the weak. And esteem to all. George the Washington. radar map in the bottom left hand of the Shut screen up. shows the position. Come on, of dude! I was trying to read George Washington. Oh, that is. Oh, I, you love to see it—the Prussian flag on a big ass warship. Okay. You love to see it. All right, let's get our. Let's get our first rates. I want to form a battle line. Which way is the wind going? Uh. It appears to be going to the left, okay. Selecting two or more ships, then, then clicking on no. this button Boom. will group them together. Creating groups allows you to issue orders to many ships simultaneously during a battle, and to more easily select the same ships again at any time. Grouped ships are shown with a colored border linking them. To dissolve a group, select it, then press the group button again. Okay, this is the British ship. HMS Agile. Okay. Okay, okay, group up, group up, group up. Line, line battle, line battle, come on. Alright. 
So I want your uh, first ship. First ship. Your side guns. I'm gonna need them ready for battle. I need you guys. Come on. Make the line. Make the line. Group one. Make the line. Keep it this way. This way. And you. And then first ship. First ship. Open up. Prepare to open up. Oh. God dang it. it. Seems as if controls are harder than in Napoleon. Okay, we hit him. We hit him. Group one. Form a line. Buttocks. Taking their merry time to fire. There we go, they fired their first shots. Do I see a musket round go off? Alright, it's first ship. Alright, I want you guys forming a line. One, remember, you're forming that line. And then ship one. Your ship's hull has been damaged, so keep an eye on Shut the damage bar. Turn, turn, turn. Come on, I need you to turn. Alright, you gotta be ready to fire on both ships. Fire. Alright. We hit them good.
There's the HMS Victory. Fire now. Let's see if we can hit the thing. Okay, we hit her slightly. We've crossed their T, they're in confusion. The enemy ship has run out of courage and is fleeing. If you can maneuver a ship close, they will certainly strike their colors in surrender, rather than face the fury of your guns once more. Hell yeah. The enemy are approaching your fleeing ship. On their present course, they will intercept and claim your ship as a prize. If you can spare it, send another ship to intercept the enemy before they get too close. One of your ships has been holed below the waterline and is taking in water. The worse the damage gets, more of your men will stop firing so that they can work the pumps. In the meantime, the carpenter and his crew are working to plug the holes and slow the leak. Okay, okay, okay. We indeed have an allied ship that is... heavily damaged. In fact, oh no, our first ship, the, uh, oh, the Nets, uh, she's sinking. She did her job well as our vanguard. Are right, you? that ship. Steady now, steady. Oh, crap. Well. Revenge shot, go. Alright, this is r actually rather fun. I'm enjoying this naval combat. I'm 
I'm enjoying this. Fire! Yeah, we're doing Ring Around the Rosie at this point. Come on. At this point, I'm just waiting for her to line up so I can get the shot. Get the shot now. Side ready as well. Uh, it's the Veneta leading the Vanguard now. That's his banner waves in the wind one last time. Before she slips beneath the waves. Uh, I gotta see this. And her banner slips beneath the waves. Sailors lie in the water, hoping they'll be get picked up by a friendly vessel. Alright, 
All right, guys. So after this battle, we're gonna end it. Um. All right. So we'll turn back and we're gonna face off against the British line. Uh, at the moment, we have the advantage of numbers. Our ships have done well so far. Okay, I cannot fire that broadside. Make sure that it's just. Side. Here we are. Alright, prepare to fire on that British ship. We want her sunk. Starting to sink or not. Oh, yeah, we're firing into them. This is the uh, sapphire. Sapphire, the Neptune, Neptune, and the Liberator are still up. It's the Agincourt, and the Victory herself. This broadside, fire on the Victory. We'll burn it. Probably hit one of our. Yeah. There we 
we go. That's given it. Alright. Alright. All right. We want to sink the victory on this day. See if we can hit the second ship, the uh, Agincourt. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. There we go. left they are destroyed they're trying to do repairs I think. never mind they're not oh there is a ship sinking what is this the Neptune surrendered and she's sinking let's go we hit her hard enough uh, -uh you're not escaping just to right here so we can just continue to broadside them both until they start sinking. And then group one, continue to fire. Uh, ship number one. Keep the broadsides ready.
group one, group one, you two to attack this ship, you to attack, uh, that's the, uh, Start chasing after her. Sapphire. This ship you can putting up on it. One dismissed. You. Like I said, you opening up on the enemy over there. In fact, it just go towards him. Is you. With them sinking. Come on, let's move. Continue with this. Short time of it. Open up. All right. Um. Is that the? That's the agent cord. Okay. The victory will sink with her. Hell yeah, boys. Just finish sinking these ships. on the HMS victory. She's sinking, boys. We did what Napoleon could never do. We have done what Napoleon could never do. That is sink the HMS victory. Fire. Five ships. Since you guys, I want you guys to chase after that ship. Run. Go as fast as you can. All right, let's just finish up this battle quickly. Close victory. What are you talking about? We lost one ship. They lost five. All right, guys. Well, that was a naval battle. Uh, we're an hour and ten minutes in. Uh, that was honestly fun. It adds slow points, but it was really fun. I enjoy the naval combat, especially in the era. And the land battles are pretty fun. At some point, we'll probably check out siege battles as well. But this was a really fun experience. So, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Oh, and also, the uh, menu music is really good. Uh, let's just listen to it real quick at the end. Uh, but I want to thank y'all so much for watching. 
please do like and subscribe. Uh, join the Discord server. I always put in the in the description down below if you want to join. Of course, you don't have to. You can dislike. You can do whatever you want, but uh, that's up to you, of course. But we're going to just listen to the music for the final minute or so here. Bye, guys.